Sparky Beans. Guys, welcome to today's episode. So, I woke up and I was like, I don't know, should I have like some cereal today or should I go with like a waffle? Because I just got these waffles the other day. Oops, wrong drawer. I'm trying to decide if I just want the cereal or I should go with something like this. I mean, these are kind of calling my name because I want to change it up. Lately, I've just been having like so much cereal and bagels, but at the same time, those are just so good. I don't know. Because then if you make the waffle, you have to like warm up the syrup. I'm just lazy. All right, I'm going to go with the waffle. I got to do it. Got to change it up. Comment down below if you guys are like that too. Like you eat something for so long that you just get like sick of it. Like that's been me lately. I've been eating so much cereal and like so many bagels. So I just felt like changing it up today. All right, just got done making the waffle. So Matt came out here and he told me that he puts peanut butter on his waffle. Yeah, you don't put peanut butter in between your waffle cheeks? I i don't know why, I've never seen somebody do that or what? that. Yeah, what I've you? never seen... Have you guys what? heard of somebody this. doing this? Watch, Watch get a close up. Oh yeah, like that is delicious. I mean, I love peanut butter, so exactly. it looks good. I, I just don't, shit. I've just never seen that. Mm. All right, new thing, I gotta start doing that. I'm gonna try that, like tomorrow or something. <laughs> he goes, tomorrow or something. <laughs> Well, because I already got my waffle made. Look at that. Oof. Wait, this could be food porn. Hold on, let me, let me drizzle the syrup. On, oh, you put syrup on top of it too? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. You look like a McDonald's commercial right now. <laughs> <laughs> so today's kind of a crazy day because it's ironic. If you guys remember a couple days ago, actually, I've been saying this for a while. My phone, my iPhone 7 Plus, I ordered it one month ago. It's finally supposed to come today. I'm so excited to finally get it. Like, I just feel like it's been forever, even though it's only been a month. Like, he has to wait two months. But it's funny because he, look how many packages he has. Like, I had to get some tea. There's just been so much tea lately, Phil. <laughs> he has so much stuff. Like, look at this. It's like Christmas. What did you get me, Dad? I got you laundry stuff <laughs> and household stuff. Nothing really too exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's just like essential stuff. It's nothing that's that exciting. But it's just weird because it's so mi so much stuff. But um, my phone, I have to sign for it. So I'm kind of scared that like I'm going to miss it because if we go somewhere or if I'm like broadcasting or something and I like miss it, you'll, they'll come back like again tomorrow. And if you miss it again, you only get like three times. And then after that, you have to like go to the post office to get it. So I hope I like don't miss the door or something or the guy like leaves. I'm just hoping that I like hear the door. Oh my gosh, the phone finally came. It's 9.30 at night right now. Like I'm live right now. Everyone say hi to the vlog. But it literally finally came. I'm so happy right now because I've been waiting so long for this. Like I told you guys, I ordered this like the night it came out, which was like a month ago. It's now October 18th. I'm just now getting it. But I feel like I should have, I feel like I should have went with the space, or what is it, matte black? Yeah, it's matte black. I feel like I should have went with that one. Because everyone's telling me that the shiny black one, this one, scratches really easily. So, I don't know, I might exchange the color, but I just really want to put my th SIM card in it and use it. But the problem is, is I can't open it because I'm switching services from T-Mobile to AT&T. So I can't actually open it, but look how pretty it looks. Oh my God, look at that box. I don't know if you guys can see this on this camera. Oh, you can't, oh, now you can see it. It's so pretty. Comment down below if you guys have an iPhone 7 or a 7 Plus, or if you guys are gonna be getting one. I know some people can't afford it because it's really expensive, but if you guys have one, what's your favorite color of iPhone? Or if iPhone came out with like, any color you could have, what color would you have? Like if, if they did, I would honestly probably have like red. Ooh, I just love the boxing that Apple has for their phones. Like if there's anything that Apple has ever come out with that's beautiful, it's their boxes. Like just look at that. I don't know. It's just like so chic, I guess. They got that little manual. Oh, there's the phone. There it is. Oh, the beautiful thing. Look at that thing. Ooh, this is kind of heavy. Damn, 
that's kind of heavy. And then, you know, those new headphones. What do you guys think about the new headphones, though? Because I know a lot of people are pissed that they made the headphones wireless now. Comment down below what you guys think about um, them coming out with wireless headphones. I think it's a great thing, though. And then they just have that typical charger thing. I'm just obsessed with the boxing of Apple phones. I don't know. So a few things I already like realized first off is this phone is definitely a little bit heavier and thicker than the 6 Plus or the 6 in any matter. Like it's definitely heavier and bigger and thicker, I think. Or maybe it's just because it's a new phone. It feels different to me. I don't know. But also what's weird is like I have T-Mobile, so I don't know how it's already synced onto my network of T-Mobile. Like, I haven't even logged into any of my account information or anything. I don't know how that happened. What I really do love that they did, though, to this phone is the home button is so different when you press it now. Like, okay, so on this phone, when you press it, you see how you actually, you know how you, like, actually press it. Well, on this one, it's kind of just more like a click, like a, like, like, you can't even hear it. I don't know, for some reason I just love the way, like so a lot of people say they hate it. Like a lot of people I've talked to who already have it have said they don't like the way it presses. But for I love it for some reason. So I just found out my Apple ID, I had to like reset the password and all this stuff because I feel like that's just, it's always the stuff that you don't remember like your Apple ID password that you always have to have when you first set up the phone. So I signed in and it's telling me it's gonna take, I don't know if you guys can see this, 59 minutes to put all of my stuff from my old phone on here from iCloud. Keep this in mind. My iPhone, this one, the 6 Plus, is only 16 gigabytes. So with that being said, I was constantly deleting stuff and deleting stuff and deleting stuff. So I don't know how there's an hour's worth of things to put on that phone. But thank God I have the 256 because now I can just have like pages and pages of stuff on my phone for one. If you guys are gonna get the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 Plus, do not get the 16 gigabyte. I promise you, you will just hate your life. It's horrible. You're, con you're gonna constantly have to just delete things to make room for all your stuff. So Chandler just came back. What is that? It's sugar fina. But what is that, like what is that though? Okay, they're gummy bears, soap, and champagne. Wait, let me try one of these. Were these expensive? This was like $15. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he almost choked. This is so good. It's so good, isn't it? I've never had anything like that before. A gummy bear with champagne, like, it's not in it, it's just like, it's soaked in it. Soaked Have you ever had those gummy bear shots where you just soak them in vodka? Oh yeah, 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 I've seen that. That's so weird. It's a classier version. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever had something that's weird like that, like gummy bears and champagne or just anything in general that's like that. All right, the phone finally put everything on it. The whole phone is set up. Honestly, like, I mean, I wasn't sure about the, the full black one or whatever you call this, jet black, but I really think I like this. Um, I got the whole thing activated. And is that is this new news to me or did you guys not know this either because I swear when you used to get phones, you'd have to take them into the store and then you'd have to have them activated by the phone company that you're with, right? But that's not how it works. When I got my phone, it already was with my phone company, which obviously you buy it like that when you first get it. And I just took my SIM card out of my old one, put it in this one, and it was good. But I'm surprised though, because I swear you had to take it to the company and get it activated. But um, I love it. I'm in love so far. What I didn't notice is when you first set the phone up, you actually get to pick three different home screen buttons that you want. So it could be like a, because if you guys don't know what the new iPhone 7, the, ho the, the home button is completely different when you push it. It's not like I said, where you push it down, it's kind of like a lighter touch. But you get three ones you can choose from, like a harder push, a lighter push, or a super light push and it unlocks your phone. I think I went with the second one because I didn't want it to be too easy or too hard. I did tell you guys in Snapchat two days ago, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, my Snapchat is Weekly Dan. I'll put it right here on the screen. Um, I was talking about how I want to do a giveaway for this iPhone 6 Plus, my old phone. Uh, I don't know what the giveaway is going to be. I want it to be something crazy, something insane. So if you guys have any really good ideas, comment down below right now what your guys' ideas are. And I might, I might do a giveaway for this phone. 
but I want it to be something really cool. So comment your ideas down below and I'll go through them and look and maybe I'll use one of your ideas if it's really good. The thing I don't understand is the new headphones, right? So they're Bluetooth, okay? What I don't understand is what is this little cord back here for? Is this to like charge them? Like you plug this into the port and then this charges the headphones? I'm assuming that's what it's for. I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm, I think these headphones are gonna be sick. It's gonna definitely look weird for people nowadays that just have like their little earbuds in and no cord. That's gonna be so weird to get used to because I'm so used to seeing people with the little cord going to their pants or whatever. If there were a review of the iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 7 in general, honestly, I have no complaints yet. I did just get it, but uh, I like it so far. That concludes unboxing the iPhone 7 Plus. What I really wish Apple would do though is I wish the little like Apple logo on the back I know it's kind of hard to see this one because this is the jet black model, but what I wish they would do is, I've seen people do this, oh, there's like third party things that do this for your phone. So they take the little apple right here and they can like change the color to like red, green, blue, or like rainbow or anything, or you can just get it white. So we basically when you're on your phone or it's just unlocked in general, the whole entire like apple right here is just lit up like your phone screen it's super cool i don't know if you guys have ever seen that but it's pretty sick but the only problem is, is it drains your battery like insanely fast that's the only downside but i really think apple should start doing that to their phones maybe the iphone 8 they'll do something like that well i hope you guys enjoyed that little review of the iphone i mean like i said though i like it so far i mean it kind of does look a little bit like an android though <laughs> I don't know, the back kind of looks like, it just reminds me of an Android. I don't know what you guys think, but it, it is pretty sick. But I'm gonna end this episode right there. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Don't forget my three Bs. Be you, be awesome, be grateful. And I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Sparky Bean. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're crushing.